Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. Today I am going to talk about how to create a project charter. So black belts and green belts make some mistakes which they should avoid while creating a project charter. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to create a project charter which will help in project success. There are six elements of a project charter. Number one is business case. Number two is the problem statement. Number three is the goal statement. Scope of the project. Number five is milestone and number six is team charter. We are going to look at all these six elements one by one with industry examples. The first one is the business case. Business case should have the background of the business, why you want to do this project and what happens if the project is not done. So these three questions should be answered, but they should not be answered one by one in the form of a question and answer. It should be in the form of a paragraph. So let us look at this business case. In a multinational organization, engineering part data is currently entered manually and it is validated by the material engineering team. This process is time consuming and labor intensive. The team aims to reduce the cycle time of processing parts and minimize manual efforts. By doing so, they are anticipating a saving of 20 full time equivalent employees for the organization. They are also trying to reduce the overall errors because of the manual work which is happening and this will enhance the customer satisfaction. If you look at the three questions which I already said that you should ask while you create a business case. Number one was background about the business. So the background is given and then why we should do this project because in the business case it is written that there are approximately 20 full time equivalent employees that they are going to save and enhance the customer satisfaction. That is why we should do this project. If we will not do this project, we are not going to have this kind of business impact. The second is problem statement. You have to quantify the problem. If the data is available that then you should quantify. Otherwise, I will request you to collect some data and quantify your project problem. It is always advisable to quantify the problem. Team took six months data and they observed that the part data entry and the system validation per case takes approximately 34 minutes. So the next one is the goal statement. So goal statement should be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and time bound. In this particular case, to reduce the cycle time of parts, data entry and validation from 34 minutes to 5 minutes by January 2023 is a smart goal statement. You take a goal statement that you want to reduce your weight. So you can write down that to reduce my weight is a goal that I am taking. But this goal is not a smart goal. If you say that I want to reduce my weight from 80 kgs to 70 kgs in the next six months, then it becomes a smart goal. It already has a baseline. It also has a target and that is how you can define the smart goal statement. Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is eight steps to problem solving, which talks about six Sigma concepts. And my second book is continuous improvement, the lean way which talks about the lean concepts. The next very important thing in a project charter is to define the scope of the project. If you don't define the scope of the project, most of the projects will have scope creep. It means that your management will keep on increasing the scope of your project and you will not be able to finish your project on time. So you should define two things in the scope. The first one is called what is in scope and what is out of scope of the project. In this particular example, which we have taken, Part updating and validation is in the scope of this project and all other type of processes are out of scope. The next important thing in a project charter is the milestones. So you have, if you are doing a DMAC project, you have to define the DMAC milestones. If you are doing a lean eight step project, you have to define the milestones for those eight steps. And if you are doing any other project, you have to define those timelines. So in DMAC, it is define, measure, analyze, improve and control. You need to identify when are you starting the define phase and when are you ending the control phase. It is the approximation number that you have to initially give. The example that we are taking, the define phase starts in August 2022 and the control phase will end in January 2023. The next important thing in the project charter is to define the team. 
so you have to define who is the sponsor who is the champion who is the mentor who all are the process owners and who all are the team members of this particular project sponsor is the person who has that problem he gives that problem to champion and he asks the champion to solve this problem so sponsors are generally the senior guys in the organization a sponsor should also have the authority to approve any cost if it comes so he can he should be able to sponsor that and then the second person look at is the project champion project champion is the person who is going to lead the project and the black belt or the green belt they are going to assist champion to achieve the project goal six sigma resources will definitely use their technical skills and analytical skills and they will help champion to achieve the goal and mentor would be the quality person like a master black belt if it is a black belt project if it is a green belt project uh, the mentor will be a black belt process owner will be the person on whose process this particular goal is being defined and the team members would be the people who will help green belt or the black belt to do brainstorming sessions to identify the root causes and to do some data collection finally the team members will help in implementing the solutions in the improve phase if we look at the example the sponsor in this case is vice president operations the champion is the director operations mentor is the master black belt quality and process owner is the operations manager and they had three team members m1 m2 and m3 so friends if you are creating a project charter and you keep these things in your mind you will be able to create a project charter which will be able to define your overall project very well your project success rate goes up by 99% if you create a good project charter so I hope you like this video if you really like this video please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends I will see you in my next upcoming video till then take care bye bye friends you can buy my authored books on Amazon my first book is 8 steps to problem solving which talks about six sigma concepts and my second book is continuous improvement the lean way which talks about the lean concepts